I'm sure all of you watched that documentary that ESPN just aired, The Last Dance. If you didn't see it, first of all, go watch it. Find a way that you can watch it now. It is 10 episodes, uh, about an hour each, uh, documenting the Bulls of the 90s, Michael Jordan, Scottie Pippen, Phil Jackson, specifically that last 97, 98 season. It was so good, it was so inspiring, and it got me, honestly, got me really amped up uh, and really inspired, and honestly, the life lessons through sports are all the way throughout that whole thing. Some really good stuff. If you know me, you know that's how God talks to me a lot through sports, that's why I wrote the book. For at least the month of June, at least the next four videos, they're gonna be about that. Uh, and I'll probably go into July and maybe even August because honestly there was so much packed into, into that uh, documentary, into that, that series. So good. Um, the first thing, today's video is gonna be just about the title itself, The Last Dance. Phil Jackson gave out a team handbook, the first team meeting in that 97-98 season, and he knew going into the season, the GM had already told him, this is your last year with the Chicago Bulls. No matter what happens this year, Phil Jackson's not coming back. So Phil Jackson gave them the handbook and on it was the title, The Last Dance. If 2020 isn't the end of the world, it may have shown us that we're close. Or at least, the very least, shown us how short life can be and therefore how precious it is. A lot of you may be watching this, like me, lost Savon Jordan on the fifth day of 2020. Um, so everything after that in 2020, coronavirus, um, George Floyd, the riots in Minneapolis, all of that is just some, Kobe Bryant even, is just some horrible icing on some really crappy cake, right? But, but life is short, right? Savon is 26 years old when, when he uh, lost his life. And George, George Floyd, you know, his life ended way too soon. And life is precious, life is short, and we don't know how much time we have. Whether you believe this is coming near the end of the world, or Jesus is coming back soon, or maybe you, the coronavirus, maybe you're afraid of the coronavirus and, and you think that might get to you or something. Wow, this is, this is sounding really dark and depressing. Um, it's 2020, but uh, I, don't, I don't wanna sound like that. I just wanna encourage you to make the most of whatever time you have left. You know, hopefully it's another 80, 90, 100 years. Whatever it is, however much time you have left on this earth, however much time you have left with your friends, with your family, right? If you're um, a high school senior and you just graduated, take this summer to make sure that, that you build that relationship and you have an impact on your friends this summer that you might not see again. The, the people that are in your life for seasons are only there for seasons. There's very few people that will be in your life this much all the way. I'm not just talking to high school uh, kids, college kids, I'm talking adults, I'm talking your coworkers, I'm talking people at your church. You have a, a chance to, to have an impact now. Don't waste it, right? We only get the one life. So how are you gonna live it? What are you gonna do? How are you gonna make the most of this opportunity that you have now, right? Phil Jackson wanted the Bulls to know going into that season, this is it. This is all we got. What are we gonna do with it? Life can be short. Our time here is is short and therefore precious and um, have an impact. Love people, um, share moments with your families and friends, tell them that you love them. Um, do good in your community. Find out why God put you on this earth and live that purpose. So again, just a quick reminder, this is it. This is all we get. Make the most of it.